This is the big story presented by HerbChambers.com. I'm Cynthia Needham. I'm the political editor here at the Boston Globe. Yesterday, the House and the Senate, together with Governor Deval Patrick, released uh, the latest plan to legalize gambling in Massachusetts. Um, the new plan would call for three full-scale casinos, as well as a slot parlor, um, with about 1,250 slots. This is the third time in as many years that Beacon Hill has pushed to legalize casinos, but the key difference this time around seems to be that the Legislative leaders have worked together with the Patrick administration to craft the legislation. While legislative leaders have support from their members, there are some issues that could be sticking points once the debate starts on this uh, bill come September. The first one is the issue of the carve-out for the Native American tribe. The carve-out gives preference to a Native American tribe, but it also says they only have one year to pull together a plan. That is not a lot of time for any group, and it remains to be seen whether uh, the Mashpee Wampanoags would be able to come together with a proposal by then. Finally, there will be opposition from casino opponents who argue not only against the concept of casinos in general, but against the way this bill was hashed out, namely behind closed doors with very little public input. They also question the idea that uh, gambling in casinos in the state would create much needed revenue and new jobs. Um, that has been obviously a major selling point and will be a major selling point given the current economic climate in this state. House and Senate lawmakers uh, will debate this issue sometime in September, they're saying after Labor Day, um, and we could expect any number of of changes to come and debates to happen. So while it seems as though everybody's uh, in this together and supporting this, it's not, not done until it's done.